Hi, Josh Carr here uh, with something that I think is interesting. Uh, basically, it's an online uh, cloud financial modeling tool for commercial real estate. A lot of people, of course, build all this stuff in Excel the hard way, and heaven knows I've done it that way a lot. Uh, but this is basically a cloud product that does a lot of the calculations for you. It's called RDCF. It's from a company called R Squared. Um, I've used modeling solutions for years. I've used Argus a lot. Uh, big fan of the product. Again, used it for years. Uh, I was on the board of a company called Assess Re that recently got absorbed, uh, trying to build a cloud product. And this is another one. Um, so I figured I'd give a run through of it. Um, I haven't really messed around with it that much, to be very honest. But having worked with more, more than my fair share of these products, I, I don't really see that as being an issue. Uh, so I thought I'd make a couple videos and see if I could build a cash flow using this product. Um, yeah, in interest of full disclosure, uh, the RDCF people gave me a trial version of the software to mess with. Um, you know, that's what they did. Uh, they're not paying me to do this. I'm not paying them. Uh, but they were gracious enough to give me a trial. And so I'm going to see how the thing works. Anyway. Um, yeah, I get my login and password in. Uh, let's see where we are. I will go to folders. I will go to practice, or better yet, sample properties. Oh, no practice. I'll make a new property. I'll call it, I don't know, one, two, three, anywhere. Sounds good. I'll say it's commercial. I know they have some multifamily stuff, but for now I'm just gonna do commercial because I think that's what most people use these modeling products for. Cool. Uh, apparently it gives you a nice little thing of validation issues to let you know what may or may not be an issue. That's always good. Uh, let's start putting in some info here. So there's an address. Uh, a name. I'm not going to bother putting in an address. What's the point? I'll run the model from 2022 because I can. Uh, it apparently is smart enough to update the reporting date to the analysis date, which is nice. That's a good bit of functionality. It also gives you the ability to put in different kinds of leases. Apparently, you can add leases that do or don't affect occupancy. Um, that's something Argus used to have built in. They used to have like lease types in their older product. Uh, they don't really do that in enterprise. They handle it differently in enterprise, but you know, it works. Rent roll. Let's put in a tenant. I'll put in a tenant. I'll name it. Creative accounting. Always an auspicious name for an accounting firm. I'll start it at 01. Oh, was this month or date? That's month, right? So 04 slash 01 slash 2022. Okay. Uh, apparently, you can put this in as a number of months. So I'll put in 60, as in five years. Uh, for the area measure, uh, I will just, yeah, I will just type in uh, square footage. Maybe 100,000 feet. Sounds good. For rent, I will make this 20 bucks per foot per year. Uh, looks like you have options of how you're going to grow it. I'm going to auto grow it at 3% per year. I'm sure that's something you can customize later. Right. Hmm. I'll leave it at basic. Uh, 20 bucks a foot looks like when I float over, it gives you an increase. That's fine. Uh, free rent. I'll put in a couple months of free rent, two months free rent. Uh, well, this is nice. You can do a set number of months at the beginning, a number of months per year. That's a nice touch for recovery. I'm sure there's all kinds of complexity there. I'll deal with that later. I'll spend 15 bucks a foot in TIs. That's cost of fitting out the space. I'll say we have 6% of rent. Okay, that's fine. Renewal type, you've got options here. Um, 
weighted, that's probably a market leasing type thing where they roll together the renewal and the vacate. They also have an option here. I'm not going to bother with that. Got some market leasing assumptions. Okay, so far so good. We can put in line items. I take that to be uh, probably expenses. Yep, they're called expenses. Yay. So I'll do like RE taxes, insurance, utilities, property management fee. Taxes will be, say, $300,000 per year. Insurance will be, say, 25 cents a foot. This will be, say, three bucks. Looks like you got to tie this to an area measure. In this case, I'll make it the total area. And the total area. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, and I'll make the property management fee, say, 3% of EGR. Okay, you know, this is pretty painless. Um, as someone who's built more than enough Argus models, I mean, this is basically doing the job it's supposed to do. Uh, looks like you can put in uh, growth rates for things. Okay, well, that doesn't suck. That's pretty straightforward. Let me just put in, like, I don't know. 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%. There's a system-based inflation rate with no growth. Okay, so far so good. <sighs> Recoveries, reports. Okay, well, I don't think I've put in anything as far as the tenant market. Let me do that. So... I'm betting you that this has to do with something with market leasing assumptions. Actually, you know what? I'm sure it's probably under here with the creative accounting. Here, I'll put in suite number 100. Not that I need to. Oh, there he goes. It's up here. Market leasing, that's what I was looking for. It always takes me a moment to find this stuff. Um, oh, that makes sense. So if you're on the rent roll, you have market leasing, named recoveries, recovery groups. That's actually pretty clean. I like that. So if I do market leasing and I say, for example, that we have, I don't know, office uh, profile, uh, five-year lease, Oop, sorry. Uh, make it five-year lease, four-month downtime. There we go, four-month downtime. Real probability is fine. Rent, maybe I'll do, I don't know, 25 bucks. On new leases, 22.50 on renewal with some sort of growth rate thrown in there, say 3%. Free rent might be, say, a couple months. A new deal, zero on renewal. Recovery, we haven't fleshed out yet. TI might be, say, 15 on a new deal, zero on renewal. This is like standard stuff. This is all nice and clean. Um, six and three. Cool. And then it looks like you can inherit previous rules. Named recoveries. Base year, triple net. Okay, that's fine. Let me go back here and see what we have for uh, recoveries. Come on. Named recovery. Oh, cool. So you have some set methods here. I could do a pro rata share of various pools, which again, I've not fleshed out yet, but named recovery looks like you can create. Oh, here, here we go, named recovery. I could just make things like base here. Okay, that's not very exciting, but you know, it'll work. 
Uh, let me go back to rent roll. And I'll make this guy here just recovery, add item, named recovery, base here. Okay. Well, I put in a tenant. I put in some expenses. I put in some rollover assumptions. Uh, I've got some growth rates. I really fleshed out market rent types. This looks like this is detailing stuff. Like you can make a detailed name for a rent method or free rent method or like customized growth rates or customized TIs. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I could build recovery pools. Cool. Customized area measures. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's calc the thing. So if I go to calc it, it says it has validation errors. Well, that's an issue. What are the issues? Uh, I forgot to put in the area measure and my rents are messed up. Okay, so let me put in the total area to make sure that I put something in. Area measure, yep, I forgot to put in the square footage. Well, that's a problem say it's 100,000 feet. Okay, that was, that's good. Is that in there? That's in there. Okay, now what else is broken? <sighs> Rent, new renewal. I think that was me trying to build like a customized rent method. Let me go back to that and just get rid of this because I don't need that. Delete, delete, fine. Cool. So then I go to Calcut. I give it a moment or two. Mind you, this is the first time I threw through this product. So considering that I've never touched it before, but admittedly, I have a lot of experience using products like this. It's pretty good. Uh, calculation speed is going along. And after a moment or two, uh, if I run the report, it should spit out a cash flow statement. Ooh, that's neat. Dumps it to Excel. Let's see what it looks like in Excel. And there she is. That's cool. There it goes. There's our rent. We're making two million bucks. We're bleeding something from absorption and free rent. We've got some recovery math. We've got some OPEX. Apparently, the names are not here, but that's not the end of the world. I don't know where they are, but whatever. Let's not worry about that right now. And we've got TI's expenses, and it gets to the end. Under runtime parameters, it looks like it tells you when it was last calculated. Um, okay, that's neat. And it's giving me, you know, 10 plus 1. In other words, the 11th year. And validation warnings are clean, so it's not broken. This is pretty cool. This runs pretty zip. It's pretty zippy, which I like. Uh, I like the fact that the dates at the top are clear. It's not something like DEC 2022. It actually gives you a date. And I like the fact that it spits out a cash flow into Excel. Anything that directly dumps to Excel makes me happy because, let's face it, we all live and work in Excel. In any event, this is my first little video of this product. So far, I'm happy. It basically builds a cash flow and it feels normal. Uh, what I always like about products like this is you don't have to actually put in the formulas yourself. And if you've ever had to do the formulas yourself, it is at best painful. Um, neat. In any event, um, well, thanks to RDCF for letting me muck around with the thing a little bit. Uh, and again, just fun to play with. If this sort of stuff fills you with joy, you can always check out my website for more content like this at www.kahrrealestate.com. Or if you're on my YouTube channel, I invite you to subscribe. I release new content on a regular weekly schedule in addition to special videos that may or may not get generated at different times. And as always, in addition to visiting my website at carrealestate.com, you can always email me with video ideas or questions at josh at carrealestate.com. And until I see you next time, keep building better models. Thanks.